welcome back to my channel this time on another video on assessment of left ventricular diastolic function by echocardiography with special reference to assessment in atrial fibrillation when we think of echocardiographic evidence of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction we often think of the mitral velocity e by a reversal that's a commonly done and most of us do only that for assessment of left ventricular diastolic function and you know that it is not that specific and many of the elderly individuals have evidence of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction by echo so this is not all you have to delve a little more in depth into various parameters which can be used to assess left ventricular diastolic dysfunction especially in atrial fibrillation where e by a reversal cannot be assessed there is no a wave in atrial fibrillation that is what we are going to see in this video though there are several parameters for evaluation of left ventricular diastolic function by echocardiography the most commonly used are the pulse doppler mitral e by a ratio and tissue doppler mitral e by e prime ratio some of the other useful parameters are mitral e velocity deceleration time changes in mitral inflow with valsalva maneuver mitral l velocity isovolumic relaxation time left atrial maximum volume index pulmonary vein systolic bar diastolic velocity ratio mitral color m mode vp and e by vp ratio tricuspid regurgitation jet velocity and pulmonary regurgitation and diastolic velocity indicating pulmonary hypertension are also taken as surrogates of left atrial pressure in the absence of pulmonary disease doppler integration of mitral valve is usually done from the apex through the apical four chamber view the transducer is placed directly over the apex beat and the echo beam is directed upwards a good four chamber view of the heart is obtained showing all four chambers and both atrioventricular valves the doppler cursor is then aligned along the long axis of the left ventricle passing through the mitral valve the doppler sample volume is placed just distal to the mitral valve so that it picks up the flow in the left ventricular inflow the initial portion of the mitral diastolic flow is called the e wave early diastolic and the final portion which occurs during atrial systole is called the a wave 